Hello YouTube, this is Tough for Minecraft and I'm gonna be showing you how to install or not how to install, how to make a cracked Minecraft server for Minecraft 1.2.5. Really this works for any version. So what you're gonna wanna do um is start off by going to your internet browser, which you've already done obviously because you're watching this video. So when you have your internet browser you're going to go to www.minecraft.net and this is for a um, vanilla server not for a bucket um, I might make a bucket in the future anyways you're going to go down to download and then under multiplayer server just hit this one right here alright so click that and it will start downloading just like this it'll ask well for me I make it ask me where it saves uh, just put that on my desktop alright so now you're gonna wanna make a folder so new folder name it whatever I'm gonna just name it server drag that in there and then you're gonna wanna just double click that hit run alright and then this will pop up and as you see it's already starting to put new stuff in here so just wait for it to say done um, I'll be back when it is done alright so now that it's done it says it says done so you can type stop hit enter and it'll stop the server save chunks So just wait for it to do that. Uh, while it saves chunks, I'll pause the video. All right, so it's taken a long time to uh, stop. So I'm just gonna. All right, there we go. It's gone. So now what you're gonna want to do is go to start. Type in CMD. Go up to CMD. Right click. Run as is run as administrator, yes. And type in IP config. Hit enter. Then scroll up and you're gonna need your default gateway and IPv4. So now you're gonna go back to your internet browser and you're gonna want to type in your default gateway in my case 192.168.0.1 just go ahead and log in and then for me it has uh, I go to um, advanced then forwarding and then here you're gonna want to take your IPv4 address and mine's 192.168.0 dot two so one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot two and then start port uh the default port for minecraft is two five five six five two five five six five and you're gonna want this to have both um if it doesn't have both it might say t tcp slash udp and for some people you might have to go like like that and then go down here make another one And then have this one as UDP and then just check them both and hit apply so just hit it and then it's done um, so for people who aren't using Motorola routers there is a cool website called port forward um, I think it's portforward.com oops I did not put port forward let me navigate to the website and I will be back alrighty so here we go just go ahead and close that alright so then you're gonna wanna go to routers port forward and guides and then here you're gonna um, look for your router for me I would go to M 
which is right here, and Motorola, and you're going to need the uh, version that you have. Uh, pretty sure mine is this one. All right, and then it'll pop up with this page, and it'll ask what uh, what game you're trying to port forward. So Minecraft. You don't have to go through this. This is just teaching you basically what I just taught you. But anyways, um, on this website, it'll tell you the default password and default, um, like the username and password. Like for mine, it was admin and Motorola. So that is it for this tutorial. If it helped, please comment, rate, subscribe. Oh, and one more thing, I'm going to um, show you how to put in maps that you already have. So, right here, it says world, so say you wanted to add in a world that you have in your Minecraft. So go to start, percent, app data, percent, and then go into dot Minecraft, saves, and then get the world you want, just copy it, paste it in there delete the one that's called world oh put it into draw mode I forgot I have Camtasia and it does that so just delete yes and then rename this one to world or you could go into your server properties and change level name alright and also to make it cracked this is where you go you go into the server properties for some people it will say server dot properties and then you go down to online mode and you change that to false and yeah that's pretty much it um also if you did the port forwarding if you did it correctly you're going to need a ip for people to join and to get that ip go to ipchicken.com and then this right here along with 25565 like for people to join my server they would have to type this and then it, it would be like that alright so that is it for this tutorial if it helped please comment rate subscribe I am out peace